Oh, 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 man. Okay. You have enough space? Are you going to complain some more? Some of feel crowded, but it's okay. Is this better? Uh, I don't know. I can see. Feel even more, I'm helping you feel more crowded. And then when I move, you're like, oh, yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> you're in a way. I'm starting. Okay, okay. <laughs> you always start. Yes, you're right. You start. Please. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello. Today, Jen's going to tell you what we're going to talk about. <laughs> so we're going to brew up retaste. We're doing a retaste. So for wait. us, not for, for you. Us. Yes. You've never seen this tea before in your life. From us. <laughs> Maybe you've seen it elsewhere. Right. It's a yellow tea uh, scented with osmanthus. Mm. Real osmanthus flower in the tea, which I kind of love. It's so pretty. That's right. And it's from uh, Zhejiang province. Mm. It's uh, uh, on... Your province. Not your province. Her, she's from Jiangsu. I always mix that up. <laughs> yes. Um, I not got a my look. Province. Did you guys see that look? Ayo. But your flower in your hometown. That's why I got mixed yeah, up. The, the East Coast all have this flower. Like the so whole coast, the whole city would smell like osmanthus. And this yellow tea comes from a famous yellow tea region, Mogan Shan. Uh, they have famous yellow tea, Mogan Huangya. Mogan Shan from Mogan, who makes Mogan Huangya. Yes. Just repeat for you guys <laughs> so you can hear the Western dialect. <laughs> uh, are we drunk? No, I think we're, we're in a good shape. We've got the tea in front of us. We've mm -hmm. got the tea wearer, and all we need now is some hot water. So listen, if you're new to the channel and you like learning about tea, tea culture and all kinds of things about tea, we do vlogs, we do how to brew, we do everything. Just check out the channel, click the subscribe button, click the notify bell. We do live sessions. Um, we do all kinds of great stuff, free content for you guys who are, want to really dive into tea and learn a lot about it. So click all those buttons and let's get the kettle on. I'm pretty excited to revisit this tea. Mm. Um, first, because I'm really thirsty. <laughs> I'm gonna smell the dry leaf while you get yeah. the uh, tea wear warmed up. So the dry leaf is uh, pretty reserved. Yeah. It's not booming uh, osmanthus flower. Uh, like sometimes with um, jasmine green tea, often I find, oh, mm. there's a little bit. A little bit fruity, like a berry sweet, a berry, like a red berry sort of aroma. I remember just the other day you asked me that on somebody else's tea note was yeah, red, red berry. berry. You're like, what is that? And I'm like, you know, raspberry, strawberry, like just kind of that zone. Mm -hmm. And I get it, what they, what they mean when you smell that. I really do get a red berry, light red berry aroma. Like I said, mm -hmm. not booming like a, like a lot of jasmine green teas are. This should be a little more booming, I hope. Mm. A red berry, like... Mm. I hate to say, almost like those uh, artificial I was going to say that. It's uh, like uh, those... When it's uh, warmed, it gets a little bit... Uh, like a, those kids' bubble gum? Mm, mm, mm. You know that smell? Yeah, or candy. Like it's pretty... Uh, it's still pretty sweet and pleasant though. It's uplifting. That's, That's cool. I think it's the combination of osmanthus with that uh, yellow tea sweetness. Uh, yellow tea usually dry like, leaf is pretty sweet. Yeah, they, that cookie, they have... For me, they often have that um, yeah. baked shortbread-y sort is, of sweetness. Yeah, this is that cookie sweetness with osmanthus floral sweetness kind of thing. Nice, nice. Here we go. Oh, yum. It's always good to revisit those teas that either you liked or disliked because our mood mm. or what the food we eat before yeah. or just, just simply how we brewed it or something could be uh, a factor to yeah. what we like or dislike at the moment. But Yeah, give them a little chance to uh, yeah. shine in a different light kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Subtle. Mm. Even lighter, kind of red berry, floral is a little more predominant here. Right. So what I, I think I 
am trying to brew that is slightly different than the previous times, which mm. I put more leaf. So I reduced the leaf quantity a little bit. In terms of brewing yellow tea, it's pretty much similar to brewing green tea. Right. And I think the last time I put too much leaf. You went a little bit boss on the leaf. Yeah, mm. it didn't end up like a too strong. <laughs> she is the boss, so it's totally acceptable. It didn't end up <laughs> too strong. Or it didn't. It didn't, but I was just wondering, would it be better if it's lightly brewed? The liquor color is interesting. Kind of a, kind of a golden yellow. Oh, such a pleasant smell. Not mm. very tea smell to me, but a very pleasant. That sweet, sweet, sweet what? Mm. It's a delicate sweet on the on the aroma. Mm. I got a really quick bitter that cleans up on my very first sip and second sip. Flower is interesting. I wonder. These are tiny little flowers, right? Mm. I'm not that familiar yeah. with that physical, actual flower, but I think, and I don't even know if this is true in general of flowers, but I remember from visiting and meeting with Mr. Sugong, who is a maker of uh, Sugong Cha Jasmine, a really exquisite, supreme jasmine green tea. So one of the killer apps of his jasmine green tea is mm. he hand remove all the I forget what they're called but those little doodads at the bottom of the flower that you know encase the bottom of the flower botanist you'll know what I'm talking about you can yell it out in your room to try and help <laughs> flower me, holder it's not getting to me though <laughs> I can't holder. remember if it's the sepal or something like that I can't mm. remember what it's called sepal sepal or maybe that's completely the wrong part of the flower but they're bitter as heck and I have to wonder if because these flowers are so tiny if that's not that little hint of bitter I'm tasting, because it's, it's not quite green tea bitter. I don't know, or like it, I don't even know if bitter's fully correct. But and, I, the I, ending, and it cleans up. It cleans up, but the ending is slightly astringent, mm. slight. It's not overly unpleasant, or totally tolerable, but uh, you can detect that. Thing. It's an interesting twist on a floral tea for me. It has that floral, but a little bit more, the sweetness that was on the nose, I'm not, it's, the green tea is bringing that in the liquor, but not the floral part, which is kind of strange. Mm. It's almost like the flower and the green tea are competing a little bit. I don't know if that's the right frame of reference or the right, right, right way to describe that. Ooh. I think the way you were saying that it kind of gave away a mini issue with the tasting thing is you keep saying green tea even though this is a yellow oh, it's tea. It's a yellow tea. Ah, yes. I don't think it's your wrong or anything. <laughs> it's sometimes it just gave off uh, that uh, green mm. tea vibe more than right, yellow tea. Right. But of course, green tea and yellow tea are really similar mm. a lot of times in taste, which we're having a yellow tea uh, Sunday tea book. This week, I think. Oh yeah, diet thing. Yes. Mm. It's, um, so this week's uh, Sunday tea book, we will be talking about yellow tea if you're curious. Yes. And if you're in the future, you can just go there now and watch it right away. You don't have to wait. <laughs> oh, I'm speaking to the future people. Right? Oh, yo. Creepy. Mm. Sit closer to you. Oh, isn't that cute? Light, light aroma. The liquor color, oh, I see, in the, in the glass vessel, the liquor color is a bit brighter, mm. golden yellow. Um, I have a matte cup, so I was gonna say it's a little bit dull, but I think the liquor color is not quite nice, actually. Yeah. Just in the matte cup, it dulls it down a bit. A little bit thin, too. I lower the uh, brewing amount. It's probably three grand tops. Mm. Mm. 
maybe we can I can explain why I did this because last time when we were brewing this I was really excited by the aroma mm. like before I have my first sip the aroma is so mm. promising and um, when I had my sip I was a uh, very disappointed because <laughs> because um, it's just a tea with the osmanthus. Osmanthus is very there, very present, mm. and uh, with some tea, with that green tea or yellow tea or any like a, which mm. kind of tea in the taste was really muted because of that. So that's I see. That's what I first I didn't quite enjoy that because. Uh, it would seem unbalanced a little bit towards yeah, the floral yes, side, the osmantha yes. side, and you're trying to now say, hey, maybe I can give the tea some space mm. to shine, to level out the field a little bit. Is that yeah, the idea? Yeah, to try to mm. see may, if I put less leaves, would the whole tasting profile be muted, or would that help the tea find its balance? I just wanted to see how this works. And, Are you still uh, computing? I think it's uh, it's a little bit more to my liking. Mm. This lighter, I agree. Way. It's not as rich in terms of the flavor. It's not a nothing. Right. We're not talking about taste uh, the mouthfeel. Just right. it's a um, more elegant. Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Know, Thing as for green tea, it shouldn't taste like a flavored drink. Right. Uh, it's more elegant. I have a little bit uh, like a, or a yellow it's tea. a green yellow tea. Yeah. Shouldn't. Yeah. And uh, I have a little bit of menthol so that I know it's a, uh, it's there. It's not overpowering. I'm not just uh, having pure osmanthus. Mm. It's more balanced. Yes. Yeah, which uh, when you said that, it reminded me that in the first go around, I didn't, I didn't feel like the, I think because the flower was so overwhelming to the tea, to the yellow tea, I didn't feel that they were. This time, I feel like the match may not be perfect, but there is at least, at least the question bit. of are they matching well? The tea is yes. present yes. to make a statement yes. with the flower. And the more I drink it, I think maybe it's just I'm not used. This is also red osmanthus. I'm more familiar. Have you had the chance to smell? Admittedly, from I'm more familiar with gold or uh, yellow osmanthus mm. from my breakfast more than from tea. That's so pretty. The smell is really so, floral. Mm. So nice, but try, not try very. Try your bottom cup too. I got a nice again. Not very elegant. <laughs> red fruit. Mm. Yeah. You it's, know, here is the funny thing: is osmanthus never catches on as a very elegant aroma because mm. it has that sweet and pretty uh, strong for its power for how many it is it's mm. a very uh, overpowering a certain point it's a little bit hard to work right. with to find the perfect balance because right. when you do those kind of uh, how should i say creative work you don't want one element to be the main right. element yeah it's especially about the blend and the they're mix. supposed to be a more of a supporting role mm -hmm. but sometimes you can find us mantas in black teas or poir or mm. other is pretty nice it depends on how you uh, handle it mm. and how what's the ratio it's put there Yeah, I think this would be a fine. Uh, I can picture this as a wake-up drink, you know, a really or a cold great. Brew. Uh, yeah, or a cold brew. I didn't think about that, but that might a be summer a really cold good summer this cold brew. Really this nice. would be refreshing with that red berry, mm -hmm. that red berry freshness, which I think might be really appealing on a really hot day. Uh, or like I was more leaning towards, I don't mind scented tea as breakfast tea. I mm. totally go with that. And with uh, Uenza, we have this breakfast dish. We could double up on the osmanthus. I'm all about just throwing things. They go completely overboard. Why not? You might not like that. But, <laughs> right. but yeah, this is a, it's a fun tea. Mm. What do you think compared to your last? More enjoyable. I agree. Uh, last time I was pretty disappointed in the tea. I still don't think it's a like a, can I say that? I don't think it's tasting grade level tea, but it's plenty drinkable. 
Mm. You know, totally drinkable.、Um, it's not super bitter. Right. It's not a、uh, uh, very astringent. It has both elements a little bit, and I used the boiling water. Though the water temperature has been yeah, like a lowering. You could, could experiment with that. Yeah. Yeah, you can lower the water temperature and.、Uh, I wouldn't say I love this tea or rediscover. I think it's pretty. Yeah, I don't love it, but I would drink it. I would put it in my、uh, in in our tea drawer, which is our sort of daily drinker drawer.、Mm. I would definitely not kick it out of the daily. Dude, let's familiarize them with our three tiered scale of tea. Tea. I can't remember the. Remember? Oh, we have those. We have the compost. Oh all right. So at the very bottom is garbage. It's even too dirty for compost because it goes in our garden, which eventually goes in our mouth. But second bottom, <laughs> compost. Third、right. bottom,、um, cooking, and then drinking,、mm. which we have little mini tears in there.、Mm. Probably didn't need to share that, but now you know how we address, you know, tea. <laughs> If you watch our lives, you've heard us talk about that complicated scale before. The liquor looks pretty good. Like it's pretty liquor, yeah, clear, you know. bright.、Mm -hmm. I'm glad. I was gonna chime out that the liquor looked dull when I looked in my cup because it does. It, but then I realized it's the matte cup. Because we have a matte cup. So you gotta really have a couple looks at the liquor.、Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, it's much more balanced. I'm smelling elements of the tea in this. Right, you have、leaf. more tea and stuff. Yeah, and the flower. I'd like to continue to try red osmanthus scented teas because I'm not. I feel like except the liquor is not bad, the rest doesn't have much of the yellow tea、mm. thing for me. Yeah, it's just tea. It's yes, scented it's tea. tea. I don't need don't need to be too specific about the type. It doesn't jump out as a really yellow tea. Scented.、Uh, um, Fail the yellow tea. Or mediocre green tea I, kind of thing. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. It may sound harsh, but it's it's not.、Um, it is like we said. It's a drinkable tea. It just doesn't doesn't quite fit in the yellow tea niche properly.、Mm. So. Next time, let's drink that in a big teapot and see how that reacts.、Mm, that would be fun. Yeah.、Right? Mm. Maybe yeah. we'll do a little Instagram story about that.、Mm. Now time for a little homework. Oh, I okay. You wanna get your glasses? Yes. I didn't know if I'm allowed. <laughs> of course. What can you see? Nothing. Homework. So let me grab the pick so I can be somewhat civilized about this. Pop, pop, pop. Get some light shining in there. Uh huh. I'll let you see too. So、uh, what what kind of homework?、Uh, homework you can't just say homework. You got to give me specifics. What you notice? Just、uh, what you notice. Okay, just observations. First,、okay? uh, maybe first level observation, second level deduction.、Uh, okay, observations. Deduction. Yeah, yeah, that sounds、right. good. I'm gonna just observe. So I notice the okay, the flowers are red, but I think I see some reddish leaf. I'm not sure. I gotta jiggle those around. I'm gonna start and pull out some leaves to just examine. Going in with my fingers, folks. So get tactile with your tea, guys. It's、uh, totally not only fine, but recommended to feel the leaf, look at the leaf, the leaves. You know, more than one. Pull out some good ones. Pull out some bad ones. Pretty,、uh, somewhat broken, but some of it's intact. All right, let's see what I got here. Okay, summarize. You take so long. Observation. I'm stalling. I have no idea. <laughs> observation one.、Mm -hmm. Oh, observation one.、Um, vis a vis the tea. Okay. The leaf is.、Um, A bit broken up and a little bit bigger color difference than I'd like to see. Those are my observation one and two. I gave、okay. you a bonus okay. one. Okay. Okay. Observation one, leaf feels broken. Observation two, the color is not quite the, even. 
not quite. Oh, okay. Not super awful. I don't see like red, but I right. see pretty light yellow. Right. And I see pretty dark green, okay. which I think, and I, it's tricky with a yellow tea to get that even, but you know, I think it could have been better. Cool. Easy to Do say from the arm. Do you have observation three? See, look, there's two comparisons right there. Mm -hmm. Observation three. Doesn't have to be, I'm just asking. Um, if not, then let's jump in deduction one. Pluck standard looks pretty good. Okay. Which I still don't know so exactly what it was. So deduction one, think of the plucking is good. Any more? I can't say what happened to this tea in terms of its uh, outcome. Like I, I'm not I asking have... you that. I'm just asking what you observe. And based on what you observe, what do you think that means? Hmm. I think we're right about the, uh, the yellow tea. I don't want to, I want to find a softer word than failed yellow tea, but the yellow, I think the yellowing was a little off, leaving a little bit of room for a green flavor to shine where we'd like to see that yellow flavor be predominant, um, which is reflected in the observations, right? The, uh, the, the range of colors probably indicate that. Mm -hmm. um, the mini bitter astringent may be a result of those broken leaves, a little bit too many. That's all of my deductions for today. Please tune in next week for more <laughs> of Phil's deductions and observations. Are you nervous? Because yeah, I'm totally like... nervous. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. What did you observe since you... No, this is a practice. It's not a test to make him embarrassed or feel anything. But for people... It isn't, who... but I do. <laughs> for it's people me. who wants to learn more about tea, I think everybody should do that. Just, yes, you you're know, right. If you care about that, right. and I do that. That's and why now... I share... Share. I'm sharing her him. knowledge with you now because now she's going to fill me in on how wrong I was. No, I no just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But she's going to give she's us what's important and what's not. And that's the thing I've been exposed to, which is super enlightening. What I mean is that a lot of times you would just drink a tea and walk away from yes. the tea. And then in which way you are not going to learn much. Right. Right. You just. Uh, which right. is fine if that's not yes. your goal. But if, if you, you just want to dig in yeah. and learn more, touch the tea, tea lover, look at the tea. Drink tea, love tea. That's good enough. Mm. But for, especially for him, that's not acceptable. <laughs> right. I have to be able to assess a tea and know, hey, right. is this a decent value or not? And that's valuable to mm -hmm. you guys too who are interested. So. so first, like you mentioned, the color is uneven. Okay. Right? There's dark ones, there's lighter ones. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that reflects to the nice one, one point, um, reflects to the process issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, we kind of uh, experience a little bitterness and astringency, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that could be related to this mm -hmm. from okay. the look. And uh, also from the look, it's later in the season because of how the leaves looks like. Uh. Right? And like you said, it's not very uniformed in terms of not the color, but the shapes of the right. leaves. You feel right. like it's broken. But there's a difference between, because right. tea You're process right. always breaks the leaves. A few, it's right. normal. But there's also these tiny little leaves and these pretty big leaves too, in terms of uniform size. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but. Uh, kind of, kind of. <laughs> Anyway, so the plucking is quite uh, late. Even though you look at the leaves, you feel it, it feels tender, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? It just means it's still the new shoot of the right. plant, but right. it's probably in May, you know, or late May when it's plucked. Okay. It's depending on the shapes of the leaf, what you see. Okay. That's pretty, like I would never have guessed that. That's a really, I feel like that's pretty advanced, but it's very useful to be able to see that from the leaf. Mm. And my guess is, is it didn't turn out to be a good yellow tea, so it just covered that up with some osmosis, which is a great way to yeah. rescue yeah. those. Right. Yeah, and it's a pretty decent sip, like not stellar, no backflips, but no, uh, it's not going in the compost. That's yeah, I'm still very compost. interested. For us, yeah. it's not like, a, you know, you cannot just have the best tea. That it doesn't exist like that. Like right. the world doesn't work like that, right? There's the, the such a gradients of tea qualities and stuff. What it matters is how much this tea costs, and uh, mm -hmm. is that drinkable? Does there will be some people enjoying that? So, mm -hmm. 
for us, we evaluate the quality, we evaluate the, uh, yep. the enjoyment of it, and does that matches the price tag? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of people would like this tea. Mm. I'd love because to we are actually very interested in this tea. That's mm. why uh, first of all, I want to try it again, and I we will be sampling more in this uh, type of tea nice. as well as uh, with the producer to see does he do a little bit better work. <laughs> cool. I'm excited to try those. That's going to be cool. Maybe we'll have a follow up video. Mm. So hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please don't hesitate to hit the subscription uh, Hit the bell. subscribe button uh. and click the notify bell. And if you got value from all, all that you heard here today, definitely click the thumbs up. That really helps out the channel. And um, yeah, so I think that's it. That's it. Until <laughs> next time, keep, keep steeping. steeping.